Hey everyone, it is JP. I am back with another tutorial for you. Today we are going to make my race lacy Tila bracelet. Uh, Tila bead bracelet is what I'm trying to say. And so here it is. I think it's a really nice bracelet. And um, what you need are 11 0 seed beads, 3 millimeter beads, and your and Tila's. So these are my Yuki Galvanized Silver. These are Fire Polish Crystal Luster is the color, and these are Lilac from 3mm uh, Pearls, Glass Pearls, and these are Turquoise Green is the color for the Tila beads. And you're going to need some Fire Line, so this time I am using the 6 pound Crystal Fire Line. And one thing to note, this is a very thread hungry project, so you probably want to start with a comfortable length and then you'll be adding thread as you go. Uh, because Just because we're going through the beads multiple times, so it creates a very nice stiff piece, but it does use up a lot of thread. And let's see, so this bracelet I believe is about 6 inches. Um, measure my bracelet here. Yep, it's about 6 inches. So. You will need approximately, to make one inch of this bracelet, you're going to need five Tila beads. And you're going to need, so let's see. So you'll need at least 12 of your th three millimeter beads per inch. So, uh, six Tila's times six for me is 36. And then six times 12 is 72 for a six inch bracelet. So just, uh, and I will put all this information in the description box, so it'll all be there too. I tend to put, by the way, just to let you know, I put it per inch. So if you're sitting here thinking, well, she's got way more than six uh, Tila beads in her bracelet, it's because it's per inch, and it is listed there. So please check there. Okay, let's get started. So to start, what you're going to do is pick up a Tila bead and... Take your needle through the first hole of said Tila bead. And I've got a stopper bead here, so my red bead here there is just a stopper. So I'm going to leave that on just for a little bit until I get the, the beads a little more secure. Now I'm going to pick up five elevens. Got my five. And I'm going to go back through the same first hole of the Tila bead here. And this is what I'm going to get, and I'm going to go back through it just to reinforce the beads. So I want to make sure I pull this tight just because I want the beads to be nice and tight. Now before I go into the teal bead here, I'm actually going to tie a half inch knot here. And this should secure my thread. Um, and I'm just going to give it all a nice tug. So what I'm trying to do is just make sure it's all tight. And I'm going to do more knots. Uh, so now I'm going to go into back into the hole of the Tila bead. And I'm actually going to tie one more half inch knot here. So I've tied one basically on either side of the seed beads of the Tila. So here's what I've got and I'm gonna go into just the first three. So let me just flip that up so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up four 11s. And go back through just that middle seed bead. So I have five, so you want that third middle seed bead. Just like this. And 
I'm going to go into the first 11 of the group of four I just put in, or added, the loop. Make sure this is... Sorry, just fixing the focus. All right, so that's the, the first one. So now I'm going to make my loop for my clasp. So I'm going to pick up an 11 and I'm going to go into the next 11. That just, uh, and then again, pick up an 11, go into the next 11. And again, pick up an 11, go into the next 11, and back through this, the 11 that's between, you know, that where everything started, basically. It's the middle beat of this group of five. There you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and reinforce. So just going through the beads two at a time. So I just got to get through the next two here. And then I'm just going to come down the side. And then go up into the tila. So now the, the loop for the clasp is set, so I'll just put a jump ring in here and add my clasp. Now we're going to switch to the other hole, so I'm just going to turn this and go into the other hole here of the tila. Pick up a tila, and I'm going back in to this hole of the tila. And then down the tila, the new one that we just added, and you give this a good tug because you want to make sure that they're nice and snug and close together. Back up the first tila, and again down the tila, and switch to the other hole of the tila. Just like so. So what you're doing is essentially ladder stitch, but we're doing this with a two hole bead. And so that's how it works when you have a two hole bead, but they, the bead should sit side by side like this and you have yourself ladder stitch. So you're gonna continue doing this again and again, all the way down. But first I'm gonna show you uh, I'm going to show you a couple more times and then um, have you build up to the length that you're going to need. So once again, I'm coming out of the tila, so I am going to pick up a bead. And I'm actually just going to go back into the tila bead here, the first, the, the most recent one. Which is now going to bring this tila bead, my new one. And I want it to be up close, so I'm just going to get them into place. Just Sometimes you need to kind of work with them and try to force them into place. Go back down the new tila bead. And see it's gotten loose again. So again, if it gets loose like this, just tighten it up, hold it in place with your thumb or your, like so, and that gets back into place. Pull back up this way again, 
Again, I'm keeping my tension very tight. And then you're going to go back down into this one and then up into the second hole of the tila. So and we're going to keep going. So if they move a little bit, don't worry about that because once we add the jump rings to it, this will force them to stay in place. So sometimes if you notice that they're going to and they're going to move off like that, that's going to happen and that's okay. Sorry, it looks like I tapped the camera. Sorry about that. And so once again, pick up the tila bead, the new one. And so notice the thread is coming up out of the bead. I'm going up into the bead again. So that'll get the other new tila into place. So what I like to do is just kind of get them close together, hold them down with my thumb and then pull the thread up. And that gets them aligned together. Then go down into the bead, the new bead, and I continuously tighten as I go every time I go into the, the new hole. Back up, and of course we're reinforcing as we go. Down again, and I've got a project to grab it onto, and then into the second hole. And there you have it. So let me do that one more time and then I'll let you go on your own. So pick up the tila bead, go back up into it. So hold them next to each other like so, give it a good tug. Go down into the new tila bead. Hold them in place so they don't move. Back up into our starting point here. And again, make sure you're just keeping them in place. Down our tila bead. And then we switch into the second hole. So you want to keep going until you get the length that you're going to need for your bracelet. And then I will show you how to add the seed beads. Okay, so I have built up my bracelet to the length that I desire. So here's what I've got so far. Here's where we started. So I'm going to show you how to do this over here at the other end here. And essentially it's the same thing I, I just I showed you to begin with. But you are going to pick up five. 11 o beads. Go back through that tila bead. So my ex my thread is exiting from the top. So I'm going to go back through from the bottom. And now I'm going to reinforce and back up the tila bead. Make sure my thread is nice and tight and secure. And I'm going to go through the first three beads in this group of five. Pick up four 11s. Go back through just that middle 11 -0 bead. just like so and just to make it easier for me I'm going to turn this and I'm going to go through the first 11-0 then I'm going to pick up an 11 and go into the very next 11 and again pick up an 11 go into the next 11 and again, pick up an 11 and go into the next 11. So I usually just do the two at a time. 
and So there is the diamond pattern that we are that I do all the time. So if you watch my channel regularly, you've seen me do this. And now I am just going to go back through the beads. So go through the first 211. So I'm reinforcing my loop. And then the next two. So two at a time makes the most sense because the angles all work itself work themselves out this way. So the next two, and then two more. Just like so, and then down the two on the side here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up and come out of my Tila bead, and I'm going to pick up three 11s, and I'm going to go down. So I'm coming up, as you can see, I'm coming up out of this hole. I'm just going to go into the next hole in the same Tila bead, and that's going to create this little picot. Now I'm just going to hop over to the other bead here. So I'm just going to go, basically all I did was I was coming out of this hole, I went into the next Tila bead and come out of the first hole in that Tila bead, or in my case the left hole. I'm going to pick up three and I'm going to go into the right hole of the Tila bead. And once again, create the picot. And then I'm going to pop up into the next Tila bead. And once again, pick up three 11s, go into the second hole of the Tila, and then up into the next Tila. And again, pick up three, and down into the second hole of the Tila, and then over into the next Tila bead. So basically what you want to do is continue all the way across your bracelet until you get to the end and I will show you what you need to do next. And really it's very easy because what you'll be doing is you'll be going down into this hole and you'll be coming out of here and we'll just start the next set going through the other side. But I will be back once I get to the end. Okay, so I have added the embellishment to one side and now I'm going to go ahead and add the embellishment to the other side. And so we are gonna do exactly the same thing that I did over here. Um, so I'm coming out of this end of it now. So my last part, I would have gone, I would have come through this hole of the Tila and then added the Pico and then come out of it at this top. So again, you're just going to pick up three 11s and go into the Tila. So if you can avoid it, try not to go through the 11. We're going to try to avoid going in and out of the 11s. Uh, so like so. So I'm just coming out of the Tila and not the 11. And there's the Pico, and then I'm going to go into the, the Tila, the new, the next Tila here. Again, skipping and trying to go around the 11 bead. And once again, you're going to pick up three 11s and go into just the Tila. So, and usually you should be able to just shift them a little bit and uh, have your needle pop out of just the uh, just the Tila and now go into the 11. And then again, so, and just go over into the Tila once again. And all you want to do is build up the picots on the opposite side of the bracelet. So I'll just show you this one more time and let you continue. Pick up three like I did here, 
go through the tila and push aside the 11 and the 11's blocking my needle here. So if you can't, so you can do this where you go through the 11 like I just did there and then just back out. Just like that. So I'm just backing out of that 11 and so again now I'm coming out of the tila and shifting the 11 aside and going up into the tila by itself. And that is it. Simple enough. So let's keep going. All right, so I'm about to add my last picot here, um, but I've gotten the picots added to both sides of the tila bead. So this is what your piece should look like. And just a note, you can stop right here. You don't have to continue with the embellishment if you don't want to. I think it's pretty just like this. So just something to consider. But here's the last one and so what you're going to do is go up into the tila, and this time you are going into the 11 bead. So, like so. And then I'm just going to turn the work. You're going to go into the next 11 So you want to come out of the middle 11 and just the one that's sticking out. And I'm going to use my 3 millimeter bead. So both of these, uh, Fire Polish and the Pearl, are both 3 millimeters. So I'm just alternating between the two. You can use uh, whatever three millimeter bead you have. So start with the, I'm starting with the pearl and I'm just gonna go into the next pointy bead of the next picot and just pull it through, let, let it pop into place. You don't wanna tug too tight cause you'll start to cause the bracelet to buckle, but it should just, the spacing should be okay that it should just fall right into place. Then I'm going to pick up my fire polish and I'm going to repeat what I just did into the next, the next picot here. And there it goes, it just pops right into place. Like I said, don't, uh, in this case you don't want to tug too tight, uh, you want to keep the, the, the tension very you want to keep the tension medium so you don't want anything buckling and this should feel very very tight um, as it is because we went we were pretty tight with the um, when we put the tila beads together so this should feel very very firm again I'm picking up my pearl and I'm just gonna go into the next bead here just like so and now I'm gonna alternate and pick up my fire polish And again, they should just pop right into, into place. And again, picking up my pearl. So I am just pulling the thread right through the beads. I'm not doing anything else. And as you can see, it's very firm. And again, so what you're going to do is just work your way around till you get to the end and then we are going to just come around and work our way down to the other side. So just keep going all the way to the end, go through the tila and come out here at the top and work your way down. But I'll be back in a second once I'm done with the first side to show you how to do the turn if you want. You can also go through and reinforce these beads again. Um, I feel like mine's, I've gone through it a few times that it's pretty tight and I'm not gonna be able to get through the beads. Anyway, keep going. Okay, so I have uh, completed one side. I have added my embellishment of fire polish and pearls. So now we can go ahead and start the next side. So at this point, you should be coming out of an 11. So like I'm here, this. Uh, at the top of the picot. So I'm just going to go into the next 11 and then through the tila and into the next two 11s here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start adding the beads just like I did on the other side. So I ended here with the fire polish so I'm going to match them up. You don't have to of course. You can always alternate them in, in, a, in a different way. 
So, but since that started with the fire polish, or that ended with the fire polish here, I'm going to go ahead and put a fire polish through it. And next comes a pearl. These pearls have teeny tiny holes, so they're hard to see. Anyway, but just straight through the 11 that is poking out. And the fire polish is next. And now the 11, or sorry, not the 11, the pearl through the 11. And next comes the fire polish. And now the pearl. It can't really find the hole. So just uh, work your way down to the end. And the last thing to do is just to tie off our thread and we are done. So I will see you at the end. Okay, so I have added all of the beads um, and I am coming out of the 11 over here. So the last bead I added was this pearl. And all I'm going to do is just uh, go through the next 11 And then I'm going to tie a half inch knot here between the 11 and the Tila. And then go into the Tila bead here. Tie another half inch knot between the teal and the 11 on this side. And then just go up into the two 11s. And then I'm gonna go into the, uh, the pearl here and the 11. And tie one more half inch knot. And just weave the thread away into some of these beads. So the knot gets hidden into the fire polish and I just continue all the way through. Or not all the way through, but just continue through the next few beads and we can uh, trim the thread. So I went ahead and added jump rings to the loops that we made. So simple enough to add jump rings. So I went ahead and added a jump ring and I'm using a magnetic clasp this time because I am out of my lobster claws that I traditionally used. But this is our bracelet for today and I hope you like this tutorial. Um, if you did, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. So, and I will see you in the next one.